from small bears with big tongues to giraffes and massive marine mammals. Here are 20 animals with the craziest tongues. 20. Blue-tongued skink. In Australia, to which they are endemic, these critters are sometimes called blueies or blue tongues, which gives you an easy clue as to their prominent physical characteristics. The lizards have a large blue tongue that is used as a defense mechanism to frighten off enemies. The blue tongue, contrasted against their bright pink mouth, is combined with a hissing noise to discourage any predators and give them the blues. 19. Woodpeckers. These birds are found in most of the world, excluding countries like Australia, Madagascar, and polar regions. Less than three inches long, the birds have some impressively long barbed tongues that they use to extract food from the trees they drill upon. Now, the tongues are flexible enough to wrap around the prey before pulling it out. Experts say the woodpecker's tongue is so long that it wraps around the critter's skull when it's not in use. 18. Flamingos. Did you know that these famously pink birds can filter the food not unlike baleen whales? That's due to spiny bristles called lamella that line the bird's mandibles and tongue that allows them to separate mud and silt from the shrimp and algae they feed upon. Flamingos are known for turning the heads upside down in the water when they feed, and experts think they have a tissue in the tongues that expands and helps to stabilize the head when they do so. 17. Tube-lipped nectar bat. This flying mammal is found in Ecuador, and the name is a reference to the lower lip. It extends about 5 millimeters past the upper lip and has a funnel-like shape, the purpose of which has yet to be determined. But they're better known for possessing the longest tongue of any mammal proportionate to its body size. At 8.5 centimeters, the appendage is about 1.5 times the length of the bat's overall body, and that allows them to easily feast on insects, nectar, and pollen. In fact, they're even known to pollinate flowers. 16. Hummingbirds. They constitute the smallest birds in the world. In fact, one species, the bee hummingbird, is the smallest extant species of bird overall. Regardless of size, though, these birds use the tongues to drink nectar. Tubes are located on the sides of the tongue, trapping the nectar as the birds lap it up. The rapid action acts as a type of micropump, which forces the nectar up the tongue's grooves. Elastic qualities of the animal's tongue serve to generate enough energy to draw the nectar into the mouths. Experts say the birds can imbibe up to 14 times the body weight in nectar each day. 15. Snakes. Much like you use your nose to smell, a snake uses its forked tongue for a similar purpose. As the serpent continuously flicks its tongue in and out, it is collecting airborne scent particles, which are then analyzed in the mouths, and that can serve as both a sense of smell and taste. The tongue also serves to analyze chemicals found, in addition to locating prey, predators, or even finding potential mates in the area. 14. Giant Pangolin. This is the largest of pangolin species, and it's found in Africa. And subsisting almost entirely on termites and ants, it is sometimes called the scaly anteater. And like that creature, to which it is unrelated, the armored pangolin will use its long tongue to capture prey. Around 16 inches long, the tongue is rooted not in the mouth, but near the pelvis. 13. Dogs. We're all familiar with the sight of a dog with its tongue hanging out. It's a way in which our best friends cool themselves down. Even though they can sweat through the paw pads, it gets so hot that they can only cool down by panting, and that allows cool air to circulate through the body. In addition to serving as a radiator of sorts, the canine tongue has several other features that are not so well known, perhaps. Not surprisingly, dogs have a heightened sense of taste that allows them to discern between salt, sweet, and sour. If you've ever noticed your pet's tongue has a slightly shredded appearance, that's due to papillae, or small protuberances, of which there are five types. Dogs can taste water by using the tip of the tongue, and when they drink, they form a cup-shaped form with the tongue, which helps explain why they are such sloppy drinkers. 
12 cats with 470 taste buds as opposed to humans with 9,000 or so, both domestic and wild cats share a genetic mutation that prevents them from tasting sweetness. The felids can, however, detect bitter taste along with acids and amino acids. Now, we just mentioned how dogs' tongues have protuberances called papillae. Well, cats also have this, except with the felines, the papillae are backwards facing and contain keratin, making them more rigid. And that allows the cat to use its tongue as a hairbrush as it licks its fur and grooms itself. And when drinking, the tongue laps liquid up into the mouths at a rate of about four times per second. Cats have to do this because they have no way to create suction due to the fact that they have no lips. 11. Blue Wild. Now, there are big critters, and then there is this monster marine mammal. At nearly 100 feet long and weighing estimated up to some 200 tons, the blue whale is the largest animal yet known to exist. Because the animal is so huge, it possesses many of the largest organs found in the entire animal kingdom. And that would include its heart, which is around 400 pounds, and its tongue, which weighs about three tons or 6,000 pounds. When its mouth is at full expansion, it can hold around 99 tons of water and food. Yet even though it does have such a big mouth, it cannot swallow anything wider than a beach ball. They use the massive tongue to push excess water out of the mouths to feed on the remaining krill. 10. Mollusks. Now, the vast majority of the creatures on our list have organs that are recognizable as tongues, but here is a critter that breaks the mold. Mollusks comprise a diverse group of marine invertebrates that include squid and octopus, and gastropods like slugs and snails. They do have some muscular mouths, but they do not exactly have tongues. Instead, they have what is called rasula, a structure comparable to a tongue that is covered in tiny chitinous teeth. It's used for feeding by scraping algae and bacteria off of rocks before food enters the esophagus. Did you know that mollusks are the only creatures known to possess rajula? 9. Alligator Snapping Turtle Often defined as one of the world's heaviest freshwater turtles, larger specimens have been documented to weigh around 300 pounds. Now that, along with the gator-like ridges along its shell, give it a uniquely prehistoric appearance. And they also have some old-school tricks in the mouth. The tip of the tongue has a bright pink appendage, which appears like a worm and moves like one as well. And it serves as a lure to attract any fish swimming by. When prey is attracted, the reptile will snap its powerful jaw shut, trapping its victim and completing its ambush attack. 8. Giant Palm Salamander If this amphibian ever sticks its tongue out at you, chances are you're going to know it, and you might even feel it. Experts say that this creature from South America can shoot its tongue out of its mouth with some 18,000 watts of power per kilogram of muscle, and that represents more instantaneous power than any known muscle of any animal. Able to extend its tongue more than half the length of its body in 7 milliseconds, that's around 50 times faster than the typical eye blank. 7. Frogs. These amphibians are easily identifiable by the stout squat bodies, protruding eyes, and for their long cleft tongues. They actually do have small teeth along the upper jaw which are used to hold food, but the teeth are too weak for chewing or for catching prey. So the frog uses its sticky tongue to catch flies and other prey from out of the air. Normally coiled in the mouth, the tongue can be shot out of the frog at great speeds. Did you know that the frog must line itself up precisely before commencing its attack? That's because the critter shuts its eyes when it launches its tongue, and that's kind of like shooting with its eyes closed. 7. Giraffes. They're best known for their elongated necks, but it turns out that that's not the only thing that is elongated with giraffes. Their tongues are prehensile and tough enough to grasp foliage, including trees with sharp thorns. At some 18 inches long, the tongue is long enough to reach the upper branches and is also used for cleaning out the nose. Aside from the unusual length, the giraffe tongue has another odd trait. Its coloration is purplish black. Experts think that dark pigmentation might serve to protect it from sunburn. 
5. Foul mouth. Geese look relatively harmless, but their tongues have spikes and hairs, giving the organ a serrated appearance. The projections allow the bird to use its tongue as a sieve, straining food particles from the water, and that's a similar process used by baleen whales. Geese can also use the tongue to grip food, and they can eat grass by holding it between the tongue and the roof of the mouth. 4. Giant Anteater Native to Central and South America, this is the largest species of anteater and can weigh around 90 pounds while measuring more than 7 feet long. Mostly terrestrial, they use the claws to dig up ants and termites, then employ the long, slender adhesive tongues to collect the prey. Those tongues can measure some 24 inches long, and while feeding, it can project in and out of its elongated snout around 160 times a minute, or about 3 times per second. At full extension, it can reach around 18 inches, or longer than the length of the animal's skull. Did you know the tongue is anchored directly to the sternum? 3. Chameleons. These lizards have several unusual physical characteristics, from their bulging, independently mobile eyes, to their color-changing skin, to their seriously long tongues. Experts say that the smaller species of chameleons in particular have tongues that are up to twice the body length, excluding the tail. They can project the tongues at high rates of speed that reach and capture prey in as little as 0.07 seconds. Along with those ballistic tongues, the creatures carry a sticky saliva that's about 400 times more viscous than humans, and that helps them capture prey around a third as heavy as the chameleon itself. 2. Okape. It has zebra-like stripes, but it's actually the closest living relative to the giraffe. Both species have the trademark long neck and the trademark long tongue. Like the larger relative, okapis also have a tongue that goes around 18 inches long and has a similar dark coloration. They use the tongue to pluck leaves and buds off trees, browse for plants, and to groom the eyes and ears. Did you know at one time the okapi was considered a myth and was actually called the African unicorn? 1. Sun Bear These creatures found in Southeast Asia are actually the smallest species of bear. They weigh around 180 pounds and measure about 59 inches long. They're identified by a couple of interesting physical characteristics, a crest on the sides of the neck and a whorl in the center of the chest and a very long tongue that goes nearly 10 inches long. The protrusible instrument is used during feeding times to extract honey and insects. And even though they are the smallest extant species of bear, they do manage to have the longest tongues in the family.